Hello, good morning everyone. How was your sleep last night? I hope everything is okay. Before I explain about our tour today, let me introduce myself. My name is Yuman Tukrayani, you can call me Yuman, and I'm as your tour guide for today. And we have Mr. Dewa as our driver, and he has been driver for 5 years. So if you want to ask about our trip, you can ask me or ask Mr. Dewa, because we're ready for you all the times. And for our itinerary, we start from Pukuturan Hotels, and we will go to Brahma Wihara Aram, the sacred place of Buddhist. The place has interesting architecture. Are you ready for the trip? Let's go! Okay, and now we arrive at Brahma Wihara Arama, the biggest monastery in Bali. As I told you before, that this building is an acculturation of Balinese culture and Buddhist culture. Attention please, here I would like to tell you the rules in this place. First, you cannot wear sarpens, and then please speak politely and don't be crowded. The most important is, please draw the rabbits in the rabbit skin. Do you get it? Great! I hope all of you got it. As we know, we are still in pandemic situation. So, before entering the Wihara, please keep your mask and then wash your hands here. After that, check your body temperature inside and then don't forget to apply hand sanitizer. Also, remember to keep the distance. So, let's get in to check your body temperature. Here, you can check your body temperature. And then don't forget to apply hand sanitizer. Okay, we already done all of the procedures. So, let's buy the ticket to enter the Wihara. For your information, these are written text on the stairs. You can read them. All of them has their own meaning, especially about the truth of life, according to Buddhist belief. Let's go upstairs. Here, we will come by the Buddha statue. Look, so unique, right? The statue is in the middle of the water. The statue is the symbolized of the blessing when we enter the Wihara. But you should know that the weakness here, there are a lot of Balinese carving. We can see from the style and from the Balinese carving. The important things that I have to tell you, here every building is the mix of Buddhist and Balinese culture. First, you can see from the split gate. Split gate is Balinese culture, but the ornament is Buddhist culture. That called stupa. So you can see from the split gate and the stupa is the harmonious mix from the Buddhist and Balinese culture. In this area, you can see sacred bell too. That bell is the symbolize of communication in Buddha belief. Look, the building, there is a combination of Buddhist and Balinese cultures. So, from this building, you can see the harmonious cultures. Let's move to the next place. Okay everyone, here you also can find the written text on the stairs. Because in every stairs in this place has their own words. The first building that you can see in this area is Dharmasala. Dharmasala is the holy building to Buddhists to pray and do meditation. So, you can also see the beautiful garden here. There are a lot of kind of plants and trees. Do you know the famous tree here is Bodhi tree? Do you want to know the Bodhi tree? Let's go there. This is Bodhi tree which has close relation with the Siddhartha Gautama is life story. 
long time ago, Siddhartha Gautama did his meditation under the Bodhi tree. So now, Bodhi tree has symbolized as the majesty and the wisdom of Buddha. The Bodhi tree also symbolizes a tree of life. Okay, let's move to the most popular building here. But before that, I would like to tell you those stairs. Maybe you see that is the common stairs, but actually those stairs have their own meaning. The meaning of those stairs is we have different belief in this life, but actually we have same goal in this life. Okay, now we arrive in Pancabala Stupa or Pipe Stupa or called Mini Borobudur by Balinese people. This building is dedicated for monk who pioneered this construction of this place. For your information, this area is usually used to do meditation for all people here. Do you know in this mini Borobudur, there is also room for pray and do meditation. This place is full of relief of the Prince Siddhartha Gautama story. This is place is for respect of Gautama Prince. In this area, you also can go around while see the beautiful view of nature. The most favorite activities you can do is enjoy the beautiful view of beach. In this area, you can find iconic stupa. Stupa is the symbolize of Buddhist belief. This stupa is the combination of Balinese and Buddhist cultures. Also, in left side, you can see pagoda. The pagoda was built in 2014. The pagoda is for meditation, also to pray. The pagoda is combination of Tibetan, Chinese, and Balinese. Actually, this holy place is especially to pray to goddess of Kuan Yin. Okay, everyone, if you want to buy some food or some drinks, you can pay by digital payment. You just scan your QR here. Later on, if you want to come to Bali again and come to this Vihara, also you want to join the meditation, you can book from Traveloka. Okay, thanks for your attention and I hope you have an amazing trip today. Thank you.